We are back at the farmer's market. I'll say one, two, three. One, I two, love, three. Go ahead. I, I love the farmer's market. I love the farmer's market. And they have got some great things going on. First, we're going to start off with some wine. Hi. Hey, Daryl, how are you? Very good, thank you. Good, good. It's good to be here. Tell us all about your wine. Well, I own Whistle Stop Winery. Okay. I'm in Dunkirk, Maryland. Uh -huh. And if you want to see me, I'm on whistlestopwinery.com is my website. Okay. And uh, I've been in business about a year. Okay. I brought six wines with me today. I've got 14 wines total. Wow. And, um, and have, business is good. That's really good. Well, thank you. Are you here every Thursday? I'm here Thursday? every Thursday. Okay. Started last week. This is my second week. What made you go into wine? It's been a hobby I've had for a long time. Uh -huh. And I started doing it as a hobby. I'm retired. Okay. And I started making wine as a hobby. And um, kids all said, hey, this is great. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we went through the process of uh, going through all the, you know, laws mm -hmm. and applications and everything else with it. Okay. Well, that's, it sounds like it's fun. It's it a is. lot of it's work, all, but it's, it's fun, it's, right? It's, it's both. Yeah. Both, yeah. Well, you, I'm glad you're in the hobby of making it, and I'll stay in the hobby of drinking it. All right. Very good. <laughs> We're here with Audrey. Audrey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. You've got some really delicious looking yes, things we here. Do. What's the name of the company? Magnolia Bread Company. All right. That's good. And if the public wanted to find you on Facebook, how would yes. they do it? Uh, you would type in magnoliabreadcompany.com, and okay. we're based out of Settlersville, Maryland, so we'll pop up right up. All right, good. Well, what do you have here today? Uh, we have pizza pretzels, uh -huh. which is tomato and cheese, garlic pretzels. We have Russian black, baguettes. We have ancient grain, sweet potato, and sourdough French, and biscuits, sweet, sweet potato and shortcake biscuits and pizzas. <laughs> All right. Well, come get one of each. It's delicious. We've got another fun vendor here at the farmer's market. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Renee? Yes, great. <laughs> well, tell me all about your business, how people can contact you, and what you have here today. So um, my name is Bethany. I am here representing my family business, Priapi Gardens. Um, we're a small certified organic vegetable farm in Cecilton, Maryland. And um, we're also a garden center. So mainly at the farmer's markets we grow, um, or we bring our vegetables, mm -hmm. but we grow a lot of things. And we always like for people to come and visit the farm. So um, everyone's invited. <laughs> uh, good, good. <laughs> well, what do you have here today? Uh, today I have a lot of leafy greens. We have greenhouses that are certified organic. So um, we grow, spinach and lettuce and salad mixes and herbs all through the winter time in our greenhouses. Yeah, super fresh. A lot of it was harvested this morning, so it keeps for a long time in your fridge. Um, and it's all certified organic, locally grown in Maryland. Wow, that's wonderful. I love the mushrooms. They're, they're pretty. Everything is so pretty, you know. Yeah. It, you can tell it's fresh. Yeah. And that's that's very important. Yeah. A lot of customers are concerned about the cost of certified organic vegetables. They do tend to be slightly more expensive um, because we do everything by hand. Mm -hmm. um, everything's planted by hand. Uh, but we cut them this morning, so all of these greens will last for about a week at least often more like two weeks in your refrigerator. So really? unlike things that you buy from the grocery store that usually travel from California, mm -hmm. Um, we would advocate that buying local, you get a fresher product that will keep longer. And we also reinvest that money right into local businesses in Maryland. We support other local businesses here. So keep the money in the state. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And it's all much better for you because it's um, chemical free and uh, grown with a lot of love. We <laughs> love what we do. So we love when people also love what we do. That's great. Now that we've found plenty to eat and plenty to drink, let's get clean. How are you? I'm good. Good. Just tell me tell me about your business. What's your name? How my, can people reach you? My name's Matt Redmond and my uh, business is called Chesapeake Soaps and Apiaries. Um, I sell soap and honey. Base, that's the basic part of my business, and then uh, I do other cosmetic products, and uh, I also sell uh, comb honey in season and uh, bee pollen, and uh, I have different creams and salves, lotions, uh, shower gel, uh, body and linen spray. Uh, those are some of the basic. Uh, I, I sell a pet shampoo. Um, nice. 
and I'm willing to, you know, try new things too. Mm -hmm. uh, I just recently made a charcoal soap. Really? Mm -hmm. And uh, activated charcoal mm -hmm. draws out impurities out of your skin, mm -hmm. so I thought I'd give that a try. And I'm just starting, you know, to experiment with that, and I might come up with some new products with charcoal. Wow, that's interesting. Well, thank you. Well, I really like this uh, Rasta soap <laughs> that you have here. You want to tell us a little bit about the well, history there? Uh, the Rasta soap uh, came out of uh, a request from uh, Jen Miller, who was the manager for the Whalers Band. Mm -hmm. And in the year 2000, they went on tour. And uh, that was a soap that we created for the Whalers to take with them to sell as merchandise. That's, that's something so, else. I think yeah. it's great that they contacted you to do it. That was quite a uh, very nice to yeah. do that. So. Well, I really love this one. It has the boo crab inside. Yes. A glycerin soap? It is a glycerin-based okay. soap with so, a, a vinyl crab in there. Uh -huh. No no crabs were harmed in the making of that soap. So. <laughs> well, it's really cute. I think it'd be thank, great in a guest bathroom. Thank, or, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So this has been a lot of fun. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. I appreciate it. No problem. Okay. Hi there. How are you today? I'm well. How are you? Great. Tell me all about your business, the name of the business, sure. who you are. Um, so my name is Krista. This is I'm the owner of Rogue Pierogies. We're based in Annapolis. We make, uh, we make pierogies from scratch. Mm -hmm fresh every week in the kitchen. Um, we have all different kinds from the more traditional potato and cheese, potato and onion, sauerkraut, sauerkraut and mushroom, to unique flavors like mozzarella, basil, garlic and sausage, spinach and feta, um, buffalo chicken and blue cheese, pretty much anything that you can think of we've, we've put in a pierogi. Um, we have about, we've made about 35 different varieties over the years and at any given market we have anywhere from 10 to 15 different, different flavors and we try to use as many local ingredients as possible. Well, thank you so much. I tell you what, I've tried them and they're very good. Thank you. We just seem to make it back to the favorite spot. <laughs> how are you doing? Good, how are you? Thanks good, for coming back. Good, good, good. I see that you've got a couple of things that I missed seeing on another trip. Yes. And one being a baklava. That's right. We have our baklava, which we don't always have. Mm -hmm. We have it once in a while. And uh, the spinach pies that we make in our shop in Baltimore. Okay. But we bring them once in a while just because it's uh, they're so... Uh, Time-consuming to make, yeah. but you know we still have obviously the olive oil from our farm in Greece, mm -hmm. the infusions, the balsamics, mm -hmm. our amazing tapenade, which we actually have a new one. We have the garlic caper tapenade, which uh -huh. have been selling really well. A lot of people love it. Really? Yeah, and of course, you know, last but not least, the olive oil. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the, your favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the orange infused. Yes, that's my favorite. Yep. yep. Yeah, but thank you so my much. My pleasure. Thank it's you for good coming to see back. You. Like. I hope you enjoyed our visit at the farmer's market. And remember, it's every Thursday. Stop on by. Come to the farmer's market.